One Piece is different from the other shonen anime in more ways than one. The series subverts many classic shonen tropes, and this is one of the main reasons behind its success. One of the things that One Piece does differently from its counterparts is how it deals with character deaths. Some of the popular shonen anime, such as Naruto, Attack on Titan, and Dragon Ball, tend to kill off characters for the sake of the plot or just to evoke emotions in the audience. While most of these deaths are successful in creating the effect that they want, there are some that just feel completely unnecessary. Neji's death in Naruto is the perfect example. The ninja could have easily protected himself and survived, but the author didn't want that to happen. One Piece, in comparison, rarely relies on the death of a character to make an impact, but when it does happen, it holds a lot more weight. A legend dies. One Piece Chapter 1082 contained a lot of information about Buggy and the rest of the Cross Guild. The Emperor revealed that he wanted to claim the One Piece and become the King of the Pirates. The admission came as a shock to Mihawk and Crocodile, who were confident that Buggy would always remain under their thumb. The events taking place at MT Bluff stole the attention of everyone, causing a major death to go under the radar. The character whose death was confirmed was none other than Vice Admiral T-Bone. As a Vice Admiral, he had a high bounty on his head, which caused people to kill him. The Vice Admiral was killed in the Pepe Kingdom. According to Tsuru, the people living in the Pepe Kingdom are extremely poor, and they can't even afford to buy food for themselves, resulting in the deaths of thousands of people every year. So, a marine going into such territory wasn't the best idea. The death of T-Bone was shocking, but he probably gave himself up so that they could claim the bounty and feed themselves. He was a kind man who went out of his way to help people in need. This incident proves that the Cross Guild's bounty system is dangerous and could cause a lot of problems for the Marines in the future. Sengoku claimed that the Cross Guild needed to be destroyed as it would damage the morale of the troops. But for now, it seems that the Cross Guild will not be tamed so easily. The Bounty System The Cross Guild was created by Dracula Mihawk and Crocodile. The two former Shichibukai were aware of the possibility of the Marines hounding them through the New World. They knew that they could not continue fighting them for long, so they joined hands and came up with the Cross Guild. In order to curb the threat of the Marines, the two pirates came up with a bounty system. It was a simple idea that operated on the same principle as the Marines' bounty system. Crocodile and Mihawk were confident that giving Marines bounties would cause civilians, pirates, and other criminals to hunt them. The ranking for the Cross Guild's bounty system has not been explained completely, and there is very limited information available that can help the audience understand the gist of it. The pirates on Hachinos have said that a regular Marine captain has one star on their bounty poster, which stands for 100 million berries. However, a person like Kobe was given five stars instead of one. This is due to his accomplishments as a soldier. It is unclear how high the numbers can go, but the bounties of Vice Admirals, Admirals, and Fleet Admiral must be over 500 million. What happens if the Cross Guild is not stopped? It is very likely that Crocodile came up with the idea to put bounties on the heads of the Marines, and so far it has provided excellent results. The Marines have been getting extra help from the common people due to their bounty system for decades. But with one swift move, the Cross Guild managed to turn the tables on the Marines. If things continue in the same manner, the Marines will suffer a lot more casualties and won't be able to function properly. So the upholders of justice will have to take action. With that being said, the Marines currently have their hands full. Admiral Kazaru and a fleet of hundred ships are currently on their way to Egghead Island to erase Vegapunk's name from the history books. Fujitora has not been seen since the altercation with the Revolutionary Army. Ryukaku was last seen on Phoenix Island, where he captured Edward Weevil. He is very likely on his way to Impel Down. Vice Admiral Garp is in Hachinosu, so he is out of the picture as well. Therefore, the Cross Guild faces little to no threat at the moment, and it can actually do something massive that will change the entire world. For now, the organization is dealing with an internal problem after Buggy stated that he wanted to claim the One Piece. Whether Crocodile and Mihawk decide to go along with Buggy's decision remains to be seen. And in other news, One Piece, 5 Perfect Counters to Yami Yami no Mi 
The Yami Yami no Mi is one of the strongest devil fruits to exist in the world of One Piece. Eaten by Blackbeard, this devil fruit is known to be incredibly dangerous. Despite being a Logia type, it does not offer the power of intangibility to its user. While that may seem counterproductive at first, it becomes immediately clear how overpowered the fruit actually is when one considers the fact that the user of this devil fruit can negate the powers of other devil fruits. In fact, this devil fruit can also suck up nearly anything in existence, making it truly dangerous. As such, only a few ways exist to combat Blackbeard. Scientific Technology Scientific technology is one of the greatest powers in the One Piece world. The core of this power lies in the technological advancements created by none other than Dr. Vegapunk. Together with the members of the MADS, he managed to get his hands on the lineage factor of living beings, which in essence, is the DNA in the One Piece world. With this lineage factor, Vegapunk has been able to create incredibly powerful beasts that have been seen all over the story. The pacifista were introduced to the fans shortly before the Summit War. After the two-year time skip, the fans were also introduced to the Seraphim, who are known to be the strongest humans to ever live. These Seraphim are the pinnacle of power in more ways than one and, on Amazon Lily, Mihawk Seraphim managed to take on Blackbeard and fared quite well. As such, they are an effective counter to the power of the Yami Yami no Mi. Hockey. Hockey is an incredible power that fans were introduced to very early in the series. However, it wasn't until much later in the story that a proper explanation about it was given to the fans. Hockey is found within every living being in the One Piece world. However, very few can actually make use of it in combat. As such, only a select few can be considered worthy of countering Blackbeard with this ability. Even among those who have awakened this power, only those who have advanced it to a significant degree standard chance against the Yonko. That said, from what fans have seen far, Hockey would be an efficient counter to Blackbeard's Yami Yami no Mi. Fishman Karate Fishman Karate is a fighting style that is most common among the fishmen and the merfolk of the One Piece world, although everyone can learn it. This style of fighting revolves around the usage of the moisture present in the user's surroundings and in the bodies of the enemies. As such, Fishman Karate does not need the user to get up close and personal with their opponent. A master of Fishman Karate can launch attacks on Blackbeard from a significant distance and be safe from the powers of the Yami Yami no Mi. That said, by itself, Fishman Karate is not strong enough to combat Blackbeard. Amplification with Hockey, however, makes it strong enough to take on the current Yonko in combat. Only Yonko-level users of this ability would stand a chance against him. Select few Devil Fruits While Devil Fruits are counterintuitive to use against Yonko Blackbeard, there are some fruits that would work effectively, given an opportunity. These are fruits that only require a single hit to defeat the opponent and, while rare, they certainly do exist in the world of One Piece. The powerful ability of the Empress of Amazon Lily, Boa Hancock, is one such devil fruit. With her ability to petrify enemies, the Yami Yami no Mi can effectively be countered. Another devil fruit that would prove to be very useful against the Yami Yami no Mi would be Sugar's Hobi Hobi no Mi, or Trafalgar Law's OPOP -op no Mi devil fruits that can finish off the enemy in a single attack are certainly a perfect counter to Blackbeard's ability. A demonstration of this was given to the fans during the Impel Down arc, where Blackbeard was confronted by Magellan and was defeated in a single blow thanks to the poison abilities of the Doku Doku no Mi, Leonard Yun Power. Another incredible ability that can effectively counter Blackbeard's fruit is the power of the Lunar Yun race. The Lunar Yuns were recently introduced in One Piece during the Wano Country arc. There, it was revealed to the fans that there once existed a race of mighty powerful individuals who lived a Stopped the red line and were considered to be the gods of the world. These people had brown skin, white hair, and black wings on their backs with a giant flame directly behind their heads. The power of this race was such that they could manipulate and use flames at will. At the same time, they had the ability to survive under extreme conditions as long as the flame on their back was lit. King the Wildfire, one of the all-stars of Kaido, is a member of this race. As long as the flame on their back is burning, no ability can pierce their ultimate defense. Having the powers of the Lunar Yun race can certainly aid a user against the power of the Yami Yami no Mi. That's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos very soon.